Edwin Kenneth Green Jr., born December 17, 1994, better known as Kenny Mason, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. Born in West Atlanta, Georgia, Kenny gained notoriety after releasing the single Hit in August 2019, which ironically became his first big song. He is also known for his distinctive sound, which consists of a fusion between grunge rock and hip hop, as well as elements of shoegaze. This documentary will be covering the life and career of Kenny Mason, a newer but promising talent in the rap game. I'm a product of how I was brought up Everyone bought up the Fortune 500 from startup I know I'm fortunate, I ain't get shot up I just hit the charts and I shot up Now I'm about to bring Jason and Vante and Scott up You do it if you ain't been caught up What they time out, if it's not us What they time out, if it's not us Straight out Jack City, got some rats with me All my nets pretty, all my raps with me Got a 10 text and say the cat miss me Got some hit records on the Mac Mini I'm a spin extra Kenny claims that he had been rapping since he was 12 or 13, but started making music around 19. Looking at his older discography, in 2014, Kenny formed a group called House Nine with his friends, where he released the mixtapes TV Dinner, The Super Tape, The Big Nine Theory on SoundCloud between 2014 and 2016. Kenny described these mixtapes saying, that was me trying to teach myself how to make beats for me and my homeboys, and figure out how to work on autotune, how to record and make art at the same time. It's the definition of experimental. It's incredibly important to have that support in Atlanta as an artist that's born and raised from Atlanta. I just take a lot of pride in my city, where I come from, and how it's evolving. I don't feel a pressure to carry the legacy. However, I do, like, accept the challenge. From 2016 to 2018, Mason released the singles 22 and 4 Real, which started to gain traction. In 2018, he released the singles Nike 2 and 2019's Goat before Hit broke out to receive millions of streams after its release in 2019. A lot of people, their introduction to me is Hit, which I'm extremely proud of. But I have been making music for a long time. When I was like 12, I started writing raps because I would listen to Lil Wayne a lot. Michael Jackson was kind of like a more than human type figure. And Lil Wayne was just like, I was super interested in Lil Wayne, just everything. And I was just like, man, I'm finna try to do that. I feel like I can do that. And I ain't tell nobody for a long time. I was just writing raps by myself. One day, somebody at school was rapping and I was just like, I'm finna just say, okay, I'll rap. And then see how people take it. I feel like I became like addicted to folks' reaction for me doing what I do. Talent is subjective, but being true to yourself, who you are, that's never mistaken. People always can tell that. Ironically, Kenny's first hit song was named Pit. Kenny cites influences as Lil Wayne, Future, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and Kid Cudi to begin rapping at an early age, as well as alternative bands such as Coldplay, The Pixies, and Smashing Pumpkins. He also cites fellow Atlanta artists such as Bankroll Fresh and Pee Wee Longway as main influences on his rap style. In 2020, Kenny released his debut album entitled Angel Code Rat. Angel Code Rat is a masterpiece in my opinion. It blends the genres of hip hop, rock, and even a bit of metal, and would gain traction from his fans and artists alike. The album is very atmospheric, balancing themes of dark and light. The title is meant to reflect this contrast, angelic, light, and hood rat dark, almost like a contradiction. The eerie opener track Firestarter introduces the album in a cold and menacing way. The album explores a multitude of topics such as growing up in the hood, gangs, as well as Kenny getting shot in 2014. The album covers traumatic events such as this and explores them in an artistic way. The music video for Angela Kodrat shows Kenny walking alone in the dark, with the spirit floating into the air after getting shot. Kenny is adapted to be part of his environment by growing teeth even though he's naturally good-natured. This project explores him being a product of his environment and the internal conflict that comes with that. This is why the title, Angelic Hoodrad, almost sounds like a contradiction. 
A year later in 2021, he released a deluxe edition entitled Angelic Hood Rat Supercut that had entirely different track lists, featuring the likes of Freddie Gibbs and Denzel Curry. The Supercut was somehow even better than the original. Boasting 12 tracks, it is more optimistic compared to the original which had a darker tone. The track 43 starts off giving an amazing album opener, akin to the introduction of a movie. In fact, Kenny's albums themselves seem like they could be the soundtrack to their own movie. There are also songs such as Play Ball and Titan, which are prime examples of Kenny's natural ability to mix rap and grunge rock. Through his music, Kenny also uses the metaphor of dogs or puppies a lot, as there's something that resonates with him in his upbringing. He uses these metaphors repeatedly through his music. The song Pup is a beautiful and experimental love song that starts off slow, but then progresses to a beautiful chorus at the end. Got a crush on a real freak. The first part of the song is called Alien, and the second part is called Lips. The first part talks about guns, girls, and dogs, and the second talks about a girl Kenny's with, and if she would still love him after everything they've been through with their relationship. I think this song in particular showcases Kenny's talent as a songwriter, rapper, and vocalist, as the structure of it demonstrates this through its different transitions. Many of Kenny's songs have unique and beautifully done transitions, which showcase prime examples of genre blending. On August 17th, 2022, Kenny released a Pup Pack EP, which would be a teaser for his next upcoming project. The project was a mixtape entitled Ruffs, which was released on September 28th, 2022. Ruffs was an evolution of Kenny's sound, that mixed its grunge sound with more spacey production. This production is demonstrated on 333 Adam, which has a very grungy and electronic instrumental. Kenny showcases his vocal talent on this album even further with songs such as Nosedive, which is a fast-paced rock song that showcases Kenny's voice hitting new highs. On Shell, Kenny delves into topics such as poverty and his upbringing, reminiscing on being too broke but not broken up for a break-in. This project also incorporates interesting features that balance well with Kenny's voice, such as Amindi, Young Nudie, and Gene Dawson. As Kenny has grown as an artist, he's been able to demonstrate his talent and versatility through each project that he releases. His work has caught the eyes of big names such as J. Cole and J.I.D., which led to Kenny being featured on the track, Stick, shouting the chorus. This track was featured on Dreamville's album, D-Day, a Gangsta Girls mixtape. This recognition has led to Kenny being featured on tracks with the likes of the mentioned J. Cole and G.I.D., as well as Sheck West and Lil Wayne. It's satisfying seeing an artist with such talent getting proper recognition and appreciation. Amassing 2.4 million Spotify monthly listeners at the date of this recording, Kenny will most likely become a big name in the next few years. Experiment, easy like Eric, it's easy to marry him, easy to carry him, post on a story to keep me aware, but she let me hit out a rip, I'ma tear it up, be like a terrier, pit an American, pit I'm preparing to hit out of areas, we got connection, I'm switching to carriers, we spark electrical energy, pairing up.